Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm trying to mix up my intro by making it sound incomprehensible. We're gonna random again. Uh, Noah's Azel this time, because we played as Azel last time. We're gonna be Kane. This is perfect. We keep getting new randoms. I'm excited. You're excited. Now that I've said it, it must be true. V 4 4 W. At least it's not B 4 4 W. If you get down on me. I'll get down on you. My favorite part of that whole B44 saga, if you're not familiar, very quick clip notes, B44, Canadian boy band from the early 2000s, they sang a song called Get Down, that had, had lyrics like, communicate and I'll go undercover, gonna make you come tonight, and then to make it family friendly, they say, over to my house, you know, come on, we all know what's up there. But, uh, in the Wikipedia article for Get Down, which a lot of people linked me to, where they were like, I read it after you were a tangent, and that was cool, I never knew that this existed, what a dirty song. Anyway, in the, uh, in the article it says like, oh, 2020, so good. Um, they were like, uh, B44 later admitted the song was about oral sex, and is like, you don't say, right? Okay. Uh, we all knew that, B44, but thanks for finally cracking that Da Vinci code, because we never would have figured it out for ourselves. This is a weird one, right? I think it's worth doing, but it's not worth doing yet. I want to see if we get more red hearts from the boss fight, because with only 2 HP, I'm a little nervous, but um, I do want to go to the curse room if it's possible, and it should be possible. 2020 is great. Now, I had previously been like, I don't understand why I like 2020 so much more than triple shot when you get less shots, so it's objectively less good. That was a very, that was an oversimplification of what I said, but the gist of it was... No. The gist of it was basically the same. That being said... Um... If in case you're wondering why 2020 actually is better than Triple Shot, arguably. Maybe even better than Quad Shot. It's, uh... Ooh, that's really nice. That's even nicer. Um, it's because... The, uh... Fire rate is not changed. Are we going to sacrifice one spirit off for one black card? I mean, it doesn't seem like a dumb trade. It just seems like a trade that, why would we waste our time? Um, it's because your fire rate doesn't change. Whereas when you take uh, triple shot or quad shot, I believe either of them, uh, or both of them, your fire rate goes down. So basically, you know, you're doing way more DPS, especially if you hit with both shots, as a result of having 2020, because your PS doesn't change and your D doubles. It sounds like some kind of, like... Like a dirty sailor joke or something like that. Or you want to know the fastest way to double your D? Put some glasses on, then make it look bigger. Yar. Doesn't that's, all sailors are pirates now? Apparently, in my mindset. Okay, come on now. I'm gonna take it because why not? Oh, I mean there is a good reason why not. We could go to our deal with the devil first, and then maybe take one deal and then take it. But that's a little too min maxi for my my young uh, tastes here. Aries ramming speed. We now look like uh, what I had Iron Bull look like in Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, w the Guppy Dream, it has to be real here. We haven't even seen a deal with the devil, and yet we've picked up... Oh, you dirty dangler! We're not gonna go in that curse room just yet, then. Um, we haven't even seen a deal with the devil, and yet we've picked up two Guppy items. I hate Curse of the Maze on situations like that. At least when you go into a, an item room, it doesn't make you waste a key. It's like, you used a key to get in here, just kidding. That's alright, though. It's alright. Even if we did waste a key, we got two extras right now. We're going so... Eh, not as quickly as we went on that Azazel run, but... You know, there's like a phenomenon like... Highway blindness or something like that. It doesn't actually make you a blind, so I'm pretty sure I got the phrase wrong, but... You know, when you leave the, the freeway or something like that, where speed limits are higher... You go on, uh you know, roads where the speed limit is lower and you travel too fast because you're used to traveling at higher speeds. You know, you get acclimated to those high speeds of travel. That's kind of what I feel like whenever I have an Azazel run and then play as another character. I'm like, okay, you know what? Slow your roll a little bit. We don't have to go that fast. We can afford to actually, you know, take a couple of extra minutes, do our due, due diligence. Due diligence? Do Gilligan's Island and, uh, you know, shoot some poops, get some extra cash and whatnot. That was not good damage. I took damage against Dingle. I don't love that. We are going to get a deal with the Devil, though. Because I am uh, not going to take red hard damage. Speed plus range. Oh, lovely. We're going to fight Krampus. 
I'll tell you what, if we get a, um, you know what I really should have done is, uh, used at least one Guppy's head, or sorry, Guppy's paw charge before picking up nine lives. We would have gotten extra spirit arts for that. I was actually hoping it would be Krampus's head. Burkano rune. I'll just use it right now to save myself a little bit. And, uh, let's pop this judgment down. I was hoping it wouldn't be demon judgment. Okay. I was, because I wanted to get another item out of him. Uh, well, sure, we'll, I mean, I have no choice, so we'll take this. Uh, th th our, our spirit arts are going to be gone. But that's okay, I want to go to in, into our curse room because our chance of becoming Guppy is, uh, real and genuine here. Oh, we have no bombs. Uh, it was a bad idea, it was a bad idea. Oh, thank God, we got spirit arts back, so we don't have to lose this life just yet. Not that it would necessarily be the end of the world, but happy to not have to lose it. Let's see what we get back here. Okay. Four cents for a key is not so bad. Six cents for a key and a bomb is pretty good. I will look for a secret room here. And that's going to do it for this floor. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's going to do it for this floor. We're still in a, we're in a fine position. You know, we got good damage. Lump of coal is going to help out. It's a great item. Uh... We all have the chance at some point in the future to use Guppy's Paw to its fullest, at least the fullest that we can make it do. Plenty of keys, so we're going to continue to be able to, you know, play the game, get new items. It's always encouraging. Didn't become Guppy yet, but it's it's still so early. We also just, on the last floor, we got free nine lives, so, you know, far be it for me to complain about that. Objectively good choice. Well, not objectively good choice, but objectively, uh... Good decision here. Can we still do this? Like, it used to be there was a place one bomb somewhere. And, oh, walk in and walk out and you can get, okay, I get it. Dark one. Dark one used to be, I thought, very difficult. And that was just terrible damage on my part. I thought I baited out his brimstone attack, but I did not. Um, but dark bomb is good. Dark one is not. As long as you don't get directly below him, he's going to be hard pressed to do very much damage to you. You can make your screen a little dimmer for a little while. That's about it. All right, come on, guppy items. We got Dark w Bum from Dark One. Say that five times fast. Sounds like he gave me some kind of terrible rectal disease. Seems like a good choice to me. I'm still like, uh, it took me so long to remember like where you actually put the bomb to get this to work. Um, hey, that's good. So I'm just gonna wait until I get a second bomb, and then that'll give me like six bombs, which seems pretty good. No, it does, Kate. It seems pretty good. Um, still, you know, lacking a little bit in the tier department, somewhat. I mean, we did effectively double our tiers. But I would like to get some more tiers. We will go to our curse room for sure. That's just a no-brainer. Unfortunately, we gotta go through the big room, but let's be honest. You gotta go through the big room, like, all the time anyway. Oh, my God. Not gonna complain, though, because the last one turned out very well, and the spirit arts are kind of out of control, and there's Guppy right there. All right, so this is, uh, this is now exceptional. I was gonna say, now that we become Guppy, the rich get richer, man. The 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 kit get kittier. It doesn't really make any sense, but um, we'll probably become like Super Guppy, which doesn't exist. But I that would be awesome. I think if there was a Super Guppy transformation, one way. And I hesitate to say this because I don't necessarily want Guppy to get nerfed because it's nerfed. Yeah, because it's so much fun to have it. Man, thanks for the pills here. Uh, one of the things that I would think is a way to like make Guppy a little bit more balanced, because it is extremely powerful, is to maybe make it so that every Guppy item past the second one gives you one part of the transformation. So maybe your third Guppy item gives you, uh, let's see what's in here first. Yeah, maybe, maybe your th uh, third Guppy item gives you the ability to fly, and then your fourth Guppy item gives you the ability to generate flies, just to make it a little bit less powerful. And I'm just spitballing here. These ideas might actually be terrible, but... So I'll tell you what. I think we are gonna, like, just do that, and then probably pop the forget-me-now to get to do this floor all over again, because I would like to actually use the forget-me-now for once. I don't think I've used it in these videos, because I don't consider forget-me-now a very good item, actually. And we're done with this. Yeah, let's just pop the forget-me-now and get out of here. We didn't need Guppy's Paw anymore. You know, I don't mind rolling entirely on Spirit Hearts. We got enough keys to do it, so it seemed like a, a decent choice. I will say, I've said this a lot, but 
Forget Me Now is one of those items that gets respect, but I don't think it really deserves it. Uh, not as much as it gets. People, whenever Forget Me Now shows up, so many people are like, Take it, you won't, you pussy. Like, Forget Me Now is not... Eh, we'll save it. It's not really like that kind of like, it's always good, but it's a little risky type thing, you know? Like, it's always fun, but it's a little risky. Um, it's not always that worthwhile for many reasons. If you have a D6, if you get rid of it for the Forget Me Now, you're effectively trading away like a bunch of Forget Me Nows. Because basically what Forget Me Now is like, here's a reroll on your item room and your shop and your devil room and whatnot. I don't, I've, I've now made it such a bad habit. I used to say, what, as a joke? And now I say it for real, becoming the exact kind of person that I've hated the most my entire life. Anyway, the other thing that's good about uh, Forget Me Now, after I finish shit-talking it, in, in our situation it was good because we didn't need uh, anything else. Like, we, our, our space bar item was not that good. Uh, not that Guppy's Paw is bad, but it's not that actively good. Let's put it that way. Yeah, Dark Bomb, sure. You know what? You can take it. We also don't need Red Hearts because we have uh, Dark Bomb and uh, probably a pretty good incidence of Red Hearts happening because we're not going to take too much damage, although we did just there because I'm, you know, a, a slave to irony. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, it's very good. But we could maybe have a better chance of getting, like, uh, cubes of meat or something like that. So, Strange Attractor, Magnetic Tears. You know, you, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. I take weird items that are great. I also take weird items that are not so great. This is an example of a weird item that I think is actually pretty bad and fairly likely to be more negative than positive, but I take it nonetheless because it's, uh, it's a wild one. Wow. Now, these guys don't get super affected by it because they're kind of well-grounded in reality, you know? Curse of Darkness, man. Just makes me want to crank up my gamma a little bit. Now, we're done with this floor already, because we're guppy. Uh, let's see if we can get any secret rooms, maybe get enough money to make our shop worthwhile. Because that's what we're missing, is like... You know, I could really get do with a, a PhD or something like that right now. I'll go pretty HD, pretty HD. We gotta, well, it isn't pretty HD, it's the same, the words mean the same thing. I was gonna make a joke about some creepy guy saying I got a PhD in my pants. Get it? Yeah, you get it. Um... We'll put this over here and hopefully get like the pills out of it as well. I think those are usually worth blowing up. Give us a devil tarot card. Are you a wizard? I love when he gives you the thumbs up when he gives are you a wizard. Like, are you proud of me? No, I'm not proud of you, okay? Oh, it does work with uh, 2020. You just constantly fire in the same direction. A little weird. We're done with this floor. Not going to the shop with this little money. We'll head down to the next floor. Boss rush, I'd say, is, uh, you know, we're actually still maybe even a little bit ahead of the clock here, which is funny. It's gonna be tight. I would like to do boss rush just because free item. Well, if you can survive it, at least it's a free item. And boss rush has a tendency to give you some pretty uh, sweet stuff. This is an unnecessary room for us. I'm now that I think about it, I'm like, why am I even here? Well, the health upgrade could be nice in the future, but for now, um, I'm, not, I'm not. I don't think we should take it because the permanent Polaroid invincibility is too strong. Plus. This opens us up to deals with the devil like uh, Horror Babylon, which I would very much like to have. I like watching Dark Bum try to chase around that heart. That's something I could I could get behind on a more regular basis. All right, this is not good. Uh, Peep seems like one of the worst enemies. Although we can fly, so we don't need to worry about creep. But I was like, Peep seems like one of the worst enemies to chase you around. See, there, Dark Bum paid out with a spider there. That's all right. Sometimes he's gonna do that. Oh, but Northern Lion, you've just never been fucked by Dark Bum not paying out. It's so good! <laughs> it's still so good! You know, Krampus's head got nerfed to shit. This is still really good. I'm gonna use the Devil card here, so I'll, like, hopefully remember to bring the health upgrade pill with me, although I'm not gonna make any promises in that department. He's gonna be dead right now. Cat of Ninetales is a damage upgrade, I appreciate that a great deal. Well, wow, finally, Dark Bum paid out. Okay, we got, uh... We got the speed upgrade. Or the shot speed upgrade and the damage upgrade. It's nice, helps our flies as well. Yeah, absolutely. Tiny Planet Anti-Gravity Tears. Look, I am nothing if not a slave to absurdity, and this is absurd. In a way, I am Come on now. It was fun when I did it to Dark Bum. Don't make me chase my own items around. Um, in a way, I kind of feel like, um... This is like a really cheap, well not cheap, but this is a, a different and ramshackle way to give yourself homing shots. 
But instead of your shots homing to the enemies, it makes your enemies home to your shots. Which is kind of interesting. I'm, one thing's for sure, I'm very happy we have Guppy right now, so I have the ability to have this, like, absurd mobility. And actually, you know, move myself around the map pretty easily. This should be a very easy win, and the streak should continue to grow. Not that it's that impressive just yet, but... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this run, man. Okay, dude's getting hit by, like, one fly every ten minutes, or one shot every ten minutes. But he's like, no, I'm not popping my head up until you fuck off. You're a sore loser, turret man. Get over it, okay? Life's a bitch and then you die, that's why we get high, because you never know when you're gonna go. Realizing the realism of life in actuality, fuck who's the baddest, a person's status depends on salary. I don't know, okay, Nos, that's still a little superficial, but I appreciate that you're trying to be philosophical there. Wait, that wasn't, uh, Nos didn't say that, sorry. Nos is verse... Woke up early on my born day, I'm 23. The essence of, uh, I don't know, the essence of adolescence is leaving my body. You know, you, you turn 23, you, you haven't been an adolescent for quite some time, you know? Give yourself a little bit more credit than that. It's been a while, I haven't listened to Illmatic in a long time. Great album, though. Great album. I got a funny story about a friend of mine. He, uh, he's not from the country, but he's an ultimate redneck still. He's a very smart guy, actually. Not to say that rednecks, by definition, have to be dumb. I know that's kind of an offensive term, and you know, I grew up in the country, I can say it. We grew up listening to So You Might Be a Redneck by Jeff Foxworthy. Don't take my word from me. Anyway, um, he, uh, he loves classic rock. Like, that's his shit. I'm gonna take, uh, yeah. Uh, he grew up, he, or not grew up, but he loved classic rock. All he played was, like, fucking... Judas Priest, Boston, Led Zeppelin, etc. Not that there's anything wrong with that either. You know what? I'm gonna stick with 48 hour energy. I don't think I need the health upgrade. I've already got an internal heart here. Um, one day I was following him on like Last FM or you know I forget what, and he's he was listening to the Illmatic album by Nas, and I was like, Yo, Jeff, I didn't know you liked Illmatic. That's really cool. And he's like, Yeah, dude. Please don't tell anybody. Like it, in his worldview, it's kind of sad, but it's also funny because it's Jeff. But, uh, you know, I, I know him. Well, I guess we're gonna leave that room. I wasn't that, you know, fond of it anyway. It was like, as if I had, like... He was, like, an anti-gay politician or something like that, and I'd seen him, like, canoodling with a... with an intern at a, a club or something like that. He's like, please don't tell anybody. This would destroy me. <laughs> Dude. It's Illmatic, dog. It's alright, you know? The rednecks can listen to rap music. It's 2014. No, no one's gonna say, oh, he's not a redneck. He likes rap music. Back when I was living in the country, we were rocking out to DMX all the time. I gotta admit, um, I'm a pretty big fan, not of DMX necessarily, although I respect what he's got going on for himself, uh, but of this ridiculous parasite tiny planet magnetic tear thing we got going on. It's very strange, uh, but I'm, I'm for it. That's what I'm gonna put my opinion down as being on the positive side here. So I'm gonna leave the clock up, because I think there's a pretty good chance that we get uh, Boss Rush. A lot of people think I go for boss rush as like an ego play or something like that, and sometimes I guess maybe I do. But um, mostly, ooh, mostly the reason I like to go to the boss rush room is to kind of try to, you know, get a cool synergy. And we have so many cool synergies going on in this cane run already that I would like to throw down another one if it's at all possible. You know, if we could pick up some kind of, you know, curved sp or spoon bender. I always say curved spoon now for some reason, or or something along those lines. That would be so cool. Or even just like an all stats upgrade. I don't even know half of what's hitting these enemies. A rubber cement or something like that? This is this is crazy. I know we have Dark Bomb, by the way, but if we're already at the HP cap, what does it matter, basically? The bloats. How are you gonna be if Oh my god, this is incredible. You're gonna give me a speed upgrade. After all that, all I'm worth to you is a speed upgrade? You know what? We're not gonna worry about anything else on this floor. We're gonna try to get to that boss rush room. Rubber cement is what I'm thinking now. But I've got to admit, it would be hilarious to get Ipecac or something. Sure, let's give this a try. Two golden chests, I think that's worth it. Judgments. What's the other one? Strength. Pop strength right now? Wow. Okay. Um, and then we'll take Judgment with us. Might get a chance to use this in the future. I, I don't really have words to describe what is uh, going on on this run. I like it a lot. I'm taking damage in the process sometimes, I don't know what's up with that. I'm I'm sad that this is what this room is, because I, uh... 
I don't want to reroll absolutely everything. I'm normally a fan of the Zanier runs, but one thing I learned is that, uh, and I'm, I'm missing some stuff here, by the way. I'll, I'll freely, oh, that was terrible. I'll freely admit uh, I'm missing some stuff there, but um, if you have a zany run, sometimes you can make it much more common by trying to make it more zany. Like if you play, if you reroll everything, sometimes they're just gonna be like, here's mom's knife. Cricket's head, so good. Not Cricket's body, which would be hilarious for us, but um, yeah, like so, I like have the D4 I think I had, and then I walked into a, uh, a six room, and I was like, I'm a zany guy, I'm gonna reroll, and then I rerolled into a run where I couldn't reroll anything anymore, and was like, oh right, I'm stupid. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Uh, we're going so quickly here, but this is good. We're gonna donate as much as we can. We, we'll probably, you know, tap out before the game does here. It's okay. Let's go fight mom. This is, that was very fast. I'm happy with that. Take the Polaroid, because I'm all about the synergies right now. Uh, we already got the guppy items. What, what do you, I just want the red chest. Okay, let's use Pandora's box. That's a lot of money. We have a lot of time, too. Let's throw Judgment down. See if we can get him to pay out with another deal with the devil. But I am gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take Goathead. We don't need Guppy's, uh, Guppy's hairball to become Guppy. So we'll trade, you know, we got the bean. That's what we got for our troubles there. Um, we'll trade, uh, HP that we don't need. Oh my god, we got Polyphemus. Yes. I know that there is, a there is, um, Book of Revelations there. Oh my god. Book of Revelations doesn't matter to me at this point, because we're not going to get a, a third or fourth level Meat Boy unless we got like another Forget Me Now or something. Uh, Polyphemus showing up is pretty much... It's it's amongst the best I could have hoped for, let's be honest. Apparently I picked up an Eternal Heart somewhere in there. This is pretty cool. I think... Okay, this is the run. Did you see me tear apart the fabric of space and time to murder that? Uh, oh my god. Okay, this is the run I'll show to people whenever they're like, Tiny, I don't like Tiny Planet, it makes my runs worse. Look at this, what is even happening here? I'm just standing in the middle and, and death and destruction are befalling me. We're almost done with boss rush already. No mom's knife, no brimstone. Yes, we are guppy. It's like Tiny Planet 2020 lump of coal polyphemus guppy. We even got uh, cancer there at the end, which just gave us spirit hearts, which is awesome. Why is the boss room still... Oh my god, Dark Bum paid out with so many spirit hearts, that's great. Alright, sure. This is pretty ridiculous. I'm very excited about where this run is, is headed here. I'm so happy we got the bean as well, of course. Um, just joking. Now, I would love the opportunity to get rid of, uh... To get rid of our one remaining HP to pick up another deal with the devil. Jera? Oh man, if that was the Jera rune. That's all right. Doesn't the Jera rune sound like Chris Jericho's like final move finisher? Sorry, you can tell I watch a lot of wrestling. Doesn't it sound like his EX attack? I can't even pick up my own consumables anymore because they just fly away from me. You know, that's all right. I don't need him. It's definitely one of the craziest runs we've ever had. I'm very excited by that fact. Two keys. Yeah, it gets us pretty close there. I'm very glad I didn't reroll this whole run because that Polyphemus pickup is crazy. Because now our shots are, you know, not only doing way more damage as a result of Polyphemus, of course, which they are, um, but also they they pass through enemies if they kill them, which they do, especially with like a lump of coal here. Uh, so this is this is pretty cool. And I don't know how much of this is Tiny Planet, but this feels like a a very intimately Tiny Planet-esque run, which I like a lot. There's another key back there I should go get. We already fought the bloat once, didn't we? Or was that peep? This dude did not stand a chance. All right, so we did get an HP up. Uh, let's take our, we'll take our one hard deal first. Nothing could ruin us here, right? One hard deal's ghost baby, no, no big deal. Two hard deal, satanic Bible. It's better than the bean. I was kind of hoping that'd be death's touch or something. But hey, you can't always get what you want. I know there's a spirit heart back there. We got dark bomb, man. We're gonna be fine. So this is uh, this is a very fun one. Ignore that. My run's probably more fun. That was a little scary. No, I, I I didn't even see the item. There was so much shit on the screen that I there was an item that spawned, and I was like, I don't beats me, man. I think I just got a red heart there. All right, another key is good. More red chests in here, please. Mm, that's a golden chest. I would like to. I would like to check out that double key room as well, but 
Uh, we, we can't really justify it right now. I can't believe this. Like, the amount of damage that we're dealing on this run... And, and not just the amount of damage that we're dealing, but the fact that we can actually hit enemies is blowing my mind. Because I didn't think that was going to be possible. I was like, I know two things about this run. It's going to be fun. Um, oh well. Uh, it's going to be fun, but we're not going to be able to hit shit. We can hit shit. I like this a lot. Satanic Bible is going to keep us in the game here. Um, excuse me, could you... Dark Bomb, come on, man. You're killing me. Alright. Wow, that's a new one. Um, so I think we're going to go up to the cathedral. And a lot of people are going to be saying, why don't you just you know, use the passage rune on the cathedral and skip straight to the chest? The reason I'm not going to do that is because I have a sense of fun. You spoil sports. And uh, beyond that, we should be able to get a deal with the devil from our, from our Isaac fight. But you can't always do. So I think we take this opportunity to just, you know... Let's take a bit of a We Are the Champion style victory lap, you know? Let's pretend we just won our uh, our Bantam hockey tournament. And we want to make everybody else feel bad. We'll just play We Are the Champions while we skate around the a rink. The O rink. Skin him a rink, a dinky dink, skin him a rinky do. We won three, two. Telepills. Nah, I mean, I'm going to take the passage rune with me because I think on the chest. There might be a small chance that maybe it gives us uh, a black market. Why not, right? Plus, this floor is going to be very fast, as everything on this run is going to be as a result of the fact that we're apparently, like, the most powerful we've ever been. That is insane! The speed at which we just killed... Oh, there's no deal with the devil, even with Goathead. I'm an idiot. I think I said that for, like, two videos running here and just didn't notice. Um, we're, we're crushing these enemies. This is insane. So Capricorn is an all-stats up. Halo is an all-stats up. Angel is a centerfold, Rhythm is a dancer. This is crazy. I'm not going to take blood rights, but... This is... This is... So unexpectedly the most powerful run I've ever had. Okay, so Awaz or whatever. This doesn't work. That's fine. I can understand that. Um, yeah, I would not have expected this to be as, as good as it is. It's pretty farking great, though. Um... Stand back here. Easy. Drop some chests, please. Mom's key, unfortunately, was the last run. Or boss key, I should say. So if we had... If we'd gotten boss key, maybe getting a few more keys down here, that could have been fun. But as is, you know, I, I can't be too perturbed by the way this run is going, considering it's amazing. Uh, this is the boss room, but I gotta be honest with you. I don't want this run to end, you know? We're gonna start with default damage with whatever character we decide to come back as. Or the game decides that we'll come back as. It's definitely the best cane run I've ever had. In the running, I'd say, for most powerful run I've, I've had ever. Um, and in a very unusual fashion as well. A lot of this is the flies and the fact that we've done so much damage that our flies do so much damage. But, oh, that's so good! I love it, man! Watching all these enemies get sucked into the vortex. Oh, it's beautiful. Chug, like, the flies just fly over the enemies. They don't even seem like they're sacrificing themselves, and the enemies just explode. Oh, my God. Come on, give me some, uh... Ooh, I'll, I'll see what that is. Give me some error here. Or, or, um, unknown. Give me unknown. I'd love to get to do the chest, like, five or six times here. With the amount of damage we're dealing, the synergies we could pick up. And admittedly, we didn't get very good synergies on the chest, but we did get, you know, just exceptionally good stats upgrades, so that's okay. Can't even seem to fall below the HP cap, even when I've run directly into enemies. Well, I think that's going to do it, unfortunately. We've only got one room left here. We'll check our secret room out. Tiny planet, man. Tiny planet. Tiny planet, Polyphemus, Lump of Coal, 2020. Three all stats upgrades. You know, there, there's a few things at play here, still. Tiny planet, y'all. Uh, actually, there's one more big room left. There's a very, very small chance we get something out of it. Wouldn't get your hopes up. Hey, remember we always say, you know, if, if you can kill Mega Fatty quickly, your run's in a pretty good place. Our run, right now, is in a pretty good place. That is absurd. We killed Blue Baby in about, like, 1.2 seconds there. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this ridiculous run as much as I did. The streak grows to four, and the stats stay the same. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back uh, with another episode very soon.
Could be 10 hours from now, could be uh, 3 hours from now, could be tomorrow. But in any case, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.